Welcome to Saranda, the Albanian coast's unofficial capital. One of the more popular tourist destinations in Saranda. Because of its beaches, the surrounding mountains, the deep blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea are all factors that have seen a consistent increase in tourism. Many of which arrive on large boats coming from Greece Tourists often come to Saranda for some of the over 300 sunny days that Saranda gets annually. And to have a vacation without breaking the bank. Since Albania is a little bit cheaper than Greece. Maybe even more than a little bit. Saranda is also home to a large percentage of the Greek minority population in Albania. In fact, the first people uh, to really settle here, or at least that was recorded, uh, were of uh, a Greek tribe. These were the Chaonian people. And this area was part of uh, Epirus, which was Greek territory. And at that time, this was an important port to Italy because the winds were favorable for making it across the Mediterranean Sea. In and around the city, there are numerous archeological sites that are popular to visit. including some right in the center of the city. Such as the remains of a very early Christian basilica. Which was built in between the 4th and 5th century AD. which was later converted to a synagogue 
in the 5th century. In 1537, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Suleiman the Magnificent, had attacked the island of Corfu, and in fear of retaliation, felt he needed to protect the harbor of Saranda road leading to the ancient city of Putrint. And thus was built the castle of Le Courcy. Another great location to enjoy a bit of the city's history is the 40 Saints Monastery, which the city is actually named after. The name 40 Saints Monastery refers to the 40 Roman martyrs who refused to renounce their Christianity during the reign of the Ottoman Empire. It was said that when this was built during the 15th century, that it was a basilica and one of the most beautiful that had ever been built. Unfortunately, during World War II, uh, it was damaged from uh, a bombardment from the uh, alleys. But it is still a cool part of history and a great viewpoint of the city and of this part of the Albanian coast which has many cool places to visit one of them if you're into history or even if you're not is the Butrint National Park which is only about 20 kilometers south of here which is a very interesting historical place because it is an ancient city that has remains from the different civilizations who have lived in this area throughout the different stages of history which is a little bit uncommon because typically uh, things will get destroyed from the previous civilization so that's a very rare uh, example and there's very beautiful architecture and a beautiful area and that will be the next video on the channel and I also have some other videos of the uh, Albanian Riviera of some cool uh, beach loca locations 
uh, about 60 kilometers north of here of Keparo, the old and new town of Keparo, as well as Porto Palermo, both of which having some very interesting history in their own right and stunning locations to add to it. I also have on this channel a longer video called Journey Through Southern Albania where I bicycle through this beautiful country or at least the southern half and I get to learn more uh, about Albania get to see what things cost in this country and see what the culture is like this was all part of a larger journey bicycling through central and eastern Europe and before that I bicycled from Cape Town South Africa all the way to Nairobi, Kenya, so bicycling through half of Africa. And before that, I bicycled from Canada, where I'm from, all the way to southern Patagonia in Argentina. And all those videos from those adventures are available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I've been and everything that I got to see and do, that is available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, once again bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and then clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Alright, so that's going to do it for our tour and history of Sarande. Hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned a thing or two. I definitely did. See you next time.